Hi, today we are looking at making a little turntable for our printed models. This would make it easier to create a 360 view for any of our models that we'd like to show off. Okay, so we'll start off with designing our project in Fusion 360. Then once we're happy with it, we'll move over and move the files to the printer, print our 3D models. If we're happy with it, we can put it together and then add some electronics to it to make it work for us. So now that we've printed all the parts, we can go ahead and show you guys how to put it all together so you can get it working. On the left hand side we have the printed parts. We have some silicone grease for the little moving parts. We have our stepper motor. Our driver board to control the stepper motor, an Arduino so that we can tell the motor when to speed up and when to slow down, two screws to fix the motor to the printer parts, a potentiometer that we can turn to speed up or slow down the motor, some jumper cables so that we can connect the Arduino to the driver board a USB cable to program the Arduino and a screwdriver for our screws. Okay, so let's move all the parts one side so we can start putting it all together. Let's grab that USB cable, plug it into our Arduino. Let me plug it into the computer. Okay, so the program that we're going to use is Arduino Studio. Let's go ahead and open that up. And we open an example program. Arduino provides us some examples that we can use and we pretty much don't need to do much to get them to work. This stepper motor example should do fine. Okay, so we open the example and we have a look and we change some of the settings if necessary. In this case, we'll be using pin 8, 9, 10 and 11. It's the same pins as we're using on the board.
The steps per revolution, that would be dependent on the motor that you've got. In our case, the steps that we need to use is 200. That's what seems to work with this little motor. Yours might be different to the type of motor that you're using. For the potentiometer, we'll be using analog A0. We're just keeping everything the same as it is in the example, just to keep things simple. Okay, now we need to make sure that we've got the correct board selected and that we have the correct port selected so that we can actually talk to the board with the software. In my case, I'm using the Arduino Nano and we're using port 7 or COM7. Your port might be different and the board that you're using might be different. Just select the appropriate values that you guys would like to use. From here we go and we program the board. You can see the little lights flashing when it's programming successful. Give it a test and turn that potentiometer to make sure that everything is working. Give it a turn and hey, look at that, it's working. Thanks for watching. If you're interested in making one of these for yourself, have a look at the links in the description below. If you liked the video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit subscribe and ring that bell.